Hello, welcome to the Love for Norma YouTube channel. My name is Julio. I am the owner of Love for Norma. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to style a synthetic wig to look like Marilyn Monroe's hair from Diamonds Are Girl's Best Friend. So this is what the wig normally looks like without any curl. And to style this wig, we're gonna be using these Remington Hot Rollers, which I'll include a link for, some sectioning clips, to move around the wig and some combs. The most important one being a rat tail comb. And that's it, so let's get started. So one of the most important parts of achieving Marilyn Monroe's hairstyle is parting her hair. This is something a lot of uh, hair tutorials actually miss out on. If you want your hair to look like Marilyn's, you gotta do it the way she would have done it. So this is a very deep part on the side. A lot of people maybe part a little more towards the center around here. You want to go as deep as you can go. And you'll be using your rat tail comb to fine tune this part. And now we're ready to start adding in the hot rollers. So what I like about these hot rollers is that they have these clamps around each roller so you have a lot more heat wrapping around the hair. So at this time we'll be using a comb and maybe a clip to get the rollers ready. This is where the first rollers will go. Section out some hair. Combing it out. And what I do is I tend to hold the hair about halfway and gently comb out the ends. I'm going to start to wrap the hair around the roller and roll it here. Now notice, I did not roll all the way to the root. The reason for that is we don't need the curl to go all the way up. So we'll stop about there. And this is the larger size roller. There are two sizes, the medium and the large. We started with the large up top. And now for the last one here, we're going to use the smaller of the two. And the reason we use the smallest one at the bottom is to have the tightest curl there so it'll really wrap around. And those three will be stacked there. And we're ready for our next section. So we've got the left side of the head in rollers. And as we're moving to the back, we really want to make sure we know what's the top and what's the back. So we're going to section this out. So now we're back working on the back. Going to be doing rollers all the way down. We could probably split the very back into two halves, just like that. So this is the back. We'll work on this side. We'll work on this after. There is the back. Now we're moving to the side. All right. So it feels like the rollers are cooled down. So we're going to take some of these out. We need to set the top. This is the whole top and front. What we're gonna do is we're gonna section out the front. And I would say that you'll want about an inch and a half for the front there. Let that fall forward. Now we have to style the top. So this is the, this is the whole top right here. We just need some wave to it. So I'm just gonna set a roller about halfway, just like that. So that's the last of the top. Now for the front. We're gonna use a medium size roller and we're going to over direct. So notice I'm not starting completely straight up here, pulling it to the side, all the way down. All right, that's the front. In the meantime, the rollers for the top and the front cool down. I think we're ready to start combing this out. So I'm gonna grab the wide tooth comb first. Start from the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb over my fingers in that direction. One of the most important things about styling any vintage hairstyle is patience. Give yourself time. Give yourself a chance to master it. Okay, so this is already starting to form. Alright, so we took out the rollers for the top. I've noticed a lot of people do the same thing when they get to this point, and this is one of the most important parts. So you definitely want to brush out the bangs, but how you brush them out will really separate the real hairstyle from, well, the one that isn't quite right. And this is what I see a lot of people do. It's very tempting at this stage to just roll your bangs like that. And while it's not really the look we're going for, so what you want to do instead is grab the bangs 
and brush them back. This is the trick. Brush them out and watch what happens. This wave. Just like that. So we're going to put the bangs together into the side here. Alright, to further clean up this hairstyle, release about there. You can even pull it in the opposite direction. So now that the bangs are down, we can find out how to clean up the rest of it. We don't want any gaps, and we don't want anything sticking out. So you definitely want this big S right here. See that? So this is the finished look for our wig. I'm really happy with it. It just took a few tools and um, less than an hour to do all of this. And so I think it's really easy. So let me know what you think. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Love for Norma. Also on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon.